call them feminists because they're not feminists. They're just fucking man haters, all right? <laughs> And they are sex- they're angry at men. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because they've dated assholes. They've dated assholes. They've made sh they've gone to a club and they've picked the biggest prick in the joint. They've ignored someone like me who isn't amazingly attractive. I don't have hench arms. I don't talk about my gains. I just enjoy fucking food, all right? But I'm a nice guy. I'm a nerd, all right? But you won't pick me. You won't come over to me. I I'm not going to call them feminists because they're not feminists. They're just fucking man haters, all right? <laughs> and they are sex. They're angry at men. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because they've dated assholes. They've dated assholes. They've, made sh they've gone to a club and they've picked the biggest prick in the joint. They've ignored someone like me who isn't amazingly attractive. I don't have hench arms. I don't talk about my gains. I just enjoy fucking food, all right? But I'm a nice guy. I'm a nerd, all right? But you won't pick me. You won't come over to me. I'm not amazingly attractive. I'm a nerd. I'm fat. I swear to God. They I'm don't choose me. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you something, Daz, if you're reorting this. Let me tell you something, this. Daz, <sighs> my friend, I use that term very loosely. When you're sitting, you're like, oh, and I'm, I'm overweight. I'm not, I'm not particularly attractive, but, but I'm a nice guy. You know, I'm a, a bit of a nerd. And the, the, Daz, I'm a nice guy too. This is what you don't get. I'm a nice guy too. Who's not fat. And I'm, yeah, who, who has enough self-respect and dignity to take care of my health, to dress well, to be groomed well, to, to speak like, uh, that. Nice doesn't matter. Yeah. They, they're not going home with bad men when they go home with me. And the thing is this, they get treated very kindly. I'm nice too, bro. If you can't control what you're you put. You're two years older than him. For it, fuck's sake, bro. It, it, How do you, what's wrong with you, man? If you can't control what you put in your own mouth, to control your own weight. You have so little self-control and women see that on you and they know that you have no self-control. You're probably a danger to them. You can't control your emotions. You can't control what you eat. And you need to just look in the mirror. Like Daz, he, he did a real long hit piece on me. He knows it was fake. He did a bunch of lies. That's fine. But watching Daz's video genuinely upset me because you can tell he's hurt deep, deep inside. Yeah. He's hurting. They don't but choose you because, because they you, don't choose you. But why would they? But bro? you think you have something that other guys don't by being a nice guy. I'm a fucking nice guy. Yeah, you don't have anything. Bro. I'm a nice guy. You, you've got nothing over me. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's embarrassing. And he knows. He knows that. And he's. You can tell he's sad. He talks about it all the time, being sad and stuff. So that's the haters done. But it was interesting when we got when we got banned to see who the hypocrites were. Like obviously, can we I, like start a GoFundMe for him or something? <laughs> we'll have to get him a I'm personal serious. trainer. You know, what, Daz. <laughs> you know, what, Daz. I know you ignored my first messages. I I swear to God, I will not publicize this. I will not put it on my podcast. I will not embarrass you on YouTube. I swear to God, if you reach out to me. Met one on one on my Instagram or on my Gitter or or here on Rumble. If you reach out to me, I will coach you. I will help you because I think you need help. And that that message literally broke my heart watching you. So no hard feelings. Bury the hatchet. I don't care what you've said about me. I don't care what you've said about my brother. I am willing to help you. That is a genuine, honest message. And everyone watching this, please get that to Daz because. It, it just hurts me. I don't like seeing men like this. I don't like seeing He's men like this. the kind of men we're trying to this say. This is what we're trying to do. Yeah. And, and, and this is another thing he doesn't realize is that. And, and good luck if you don't call me. And the reason women don't go with him is he doesn't understand that women intrinsically see him as a threat. Yeah. Because men like you and I, they know we have options. So we have no reason to ever assault anybody, hurt anybody. No reason to be creepy. No reason to be weird. We could just be nice with a girl. And if she's yeah. not interested, fine. We have options. Men like him have no options. So they find him very scary. They're like, okay, he can't control what he eats. He's very emotional. He seems a bit unpredictable. If he gets me back to his house. Is he going to let me he's go? Gonna, he's going to see this as his one big chance yeah, to, to have some sexual intercourse. This is the thing, Dad. And he, women know, bro. They can women smell know, it. They pick up on it. And they that's why. You have to make videos like that. That's why you were alone. That is why your girlfriend left you. I saw that video as well. Don't even play that because I'm genuinely feeling sorry for the guy. Reach out anytime, bro. I'll help you out.